Hi guys, another quick one today. Uh, the the really lengthy reviews. I know some people really enjoy long reviews, but having a look at the analytics, most of you want pretty short reviews on things. If it's a really technical item, I'll get a bit more in depth. But some of the stuff, you know, it only needs five to ten minutes. So most of us in the past have had knives and the sheaths have been absolutely awful. Uh, I'm in the UK, so it's not like in the States where we've got tons of people uh, making different sheaths and you can go to different knife shops and you know order them online or whatever. There's very, very limited options out there and probably the same in, in most of Europe. You can go to like specialist leather manufacturers, but that's going to get expensive and I know a lot of those guys have excessively long lead times just because they got so you know it's a a very lengthy thing for them to actually uh, do it's artisanal and you're going to pay money for the length of time it takes and you're going to wait so we probably all had knives in the past that the sheaths have been awful we've got rid of the sheaths or the sheaths have just deteriorated and end up you know in the bin uh, and then you're just left with a fixed blade knife that you don't really know what to do with and you probably stop carrying it. I know I got a, a couple like that sat on the side, perfectly good knives and you know they're just useless basically because you, ca you can't carry around a, a knife without a sheath. I had this knife here which you can't even buy these things anymore. I think it's a Florian Vorax. It's a really really nice knife 154cm full tang very nice size it's got a nice little choil so you can choke up on there I just really like it it's easy to sharpen uh, Vorex are a US company but I'm pretty sure that they're not making knives anymore if I'm if I'm wrong on that correct me and I'm sorry and he never actually came with a sheath you know I picked him up from Vorax Direct they sent me one uh, back when I was writing a, a blog about knives and I was just reviewing the knife didn't have a sheath with it no problem great knife and then it just sat on the side you know and I didn't get much use out of it which was a real shame and I thought you know what I'm going to order a, a Kydex sheath so I had a look around at the options uh, and this guy had, had no idea that I was going to review the piece so it's uh, a, an honest review of, of what he did uh, Kydex Customs I just found them on a Google search they were literally uh, you know one of about two or three options that I found and, and they had the the most customer friendly kind of portal you know they actually had a website and contact details and stuff on there rather than just some random name on a forum i know a lot of the uh, knife makers will do custom kydex but uh, a lot of those guys just do the the kydex for their own knives and if you ask them nicely and you kind of strike a deal with them they might make you something but it's generally not particularly well publicized you might find it on instagram or something like that so in terms of Google, this was the kind of uh, the easiest one to go with. I messaged him and he said, yeah, no problem. You know, send me the knife. Uh, I'll take a look at it and I'll come back to you with a price. So I sent him the knife over in recorded post. Um, you can send knives in the post, obviously wrap them really well. And when they ask if you're doing it Royal Mail, just let them know that it is a, a knife. You can just say it's cutlery and all they do is stick a, a, a little thing on it saying you know it's got a sharp uh, thing inside that this whole myth about you can't send knives in the post and that yes you can but you, you need to be honest with them because if it got stopped and you hadn't been honest you might have some issues and they might start wondering why you're telling fibs to them so i sent him the knife and then he said yeah sure and i think it was um it was about 35 to 40 quid so decent price um he asked me you know how I wanted to carry the knife what side of the body I would carry it on and what kind of device I wanted to you know clip on the belt I said I wanted something like a tech lock and I would normally carry it um, scout carry you know horizontally on the waist probably on the left side so uh, I sent him uh, money via PayPal and it took about three or four weeks and this was the result so 
a nice little bit of Kydex with the tech lock on the back and you actually put a little bit of rubber in there because one of the things with these is that they can slip open so if you haven't seen these before these things just slide across press it in that whole thing opens out and then you get a couple of these little bars which will sit inside there you can see you've got different attachment points along here and those bars can move so if I can prise him off of there just comes off like so and then you can change it to whichever size of belt you require there's actually two bars that it comes with snap shut like so and then you can lock it so that's now locked but it's worth popping a little bit of rubber in there just to stop it from moving if you're running about or it's on your belt or something because then that cannot slide up at all and it won't open uh, it's got various different attachment points so you could if you wanted to take this tech lock off that's actually attached in the middle it's got two attachment points in there with rubber on so it's got a little bit of giving it just in case you catch it on anything and then it's simply a press fit in there clicks in nice and solid no way that's coming out held really well and then you just got a nice piece on the top there which you can just use to pull it out so it's a nice easy extraction just with one hand and then nice and easy back in I was really 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 pleased with that the quality is excellent the length of time it took was very good considering that he's one guy and he's got probably quite a lot to be getting on with so I would strongly suggest if you're in the UK to check out Custom Kydex I'll chuck a link up like I say he's got no idea that I was going to do any sort of review on the product uh, but I was so pleased with what he did and I was so pleased with the price I thought it's it's worth a mention and I'm sure a lot of you guys have got knives that are sat around that could probably do with a, a Kydex sheath to put them in well that's about it thank you very much I hope that's uh, giving you some ideas for what to do with your old fixed blades that are sat around sheathless have a great new year